I'm going to help you understand how to create virtual instruments and assign the outputs to the TTS-1 and the East-West collection. So I have a basic template with no tracks. The first thing we want to do in this scenario is to go to Insert soft sense and we're going to choose play east west collection uses a external player and it's called play if it's not and you're recently used you can just scroll down till you find it it's really important that you choose the midi source track and the first synth audio output okay so we have our play output and this is your control for the output of your system and mine is set to Motu audio ASIO audio streaming input output main out one and two and here's the MIDI track that it created. And you'll notice that play is already chosen. Right now we don't have any channel, so let's just go ahead and select channel 1. And you won't need to choose anything on the bank. And you do not need to choose anything here. Okay. And from here, you just simply double click the MIDI icon or the audio icon to open up play. And here is the East West Collection play. I think I'll choose the Gotham and uh, what the heck, I'll just choose something from the orchestra. Pizzicata strings. Okay, so now so we're here in the Pizzicata strings. Here's the mixer. This is very important. You can have eight channels and so for each instrument you want to add let's go ahead and just add so I can show you uh, let's choose pop brass what a combination <laughs> okay and I'm just gonna grab one so I picked it d double click it click add down here and then go back to your mixer and see right now both channels are playing we don't want that remember we have we're only on channel one so we want to make the pizzicata strings channel one and then we want to make the, the trumpets channel two okay now let's start with a, a, a fresh MIDI track. And I'm going to just minimize that so you can see. And so when we inserted a new MIDI track, it has just the default output. So we want to go ahead and choose play. now we want to choose channel 2 and here's our trumpets and here is our pizzicata strings okay so that's just basically how to set up play from east-west collection 
and just remember when you want to add a new instrument you want to add okay notice that it's playing the other tracks because we have to go and select channel 3 and we haven't actually created a MIDI track yet so again we'll choose our output as play and we want to choose channel 3 and we don't need to choose any kind of bank or patch because we're not using a instrument definition file for those those tracks so here we have our pizzicata strings and our trumpet and a clarinet okay so let's say we want to choose the cakewalk TTS one we want to go to insert soft synth and here's our general MIDI and this is the TTS one same thing we want to choose a MIDI source you don't have to you could do a simple instrument track and it'll give you the audio output track but I like to go ahead and choose the MIDI source and the first synth audio output and you see it's already assigned to the TTS one so basically if you have a MIDI file a general MIDI file and the TTS one is a general MIDI uh, sound module you, you just simply assign your MIDI outputs to the Cakewalk TTS one after you've inserted it so let's say you have 10 instrument tracks from a MIDI file that you're trying to um, change the sounds from your keyboard over to the TTS one for whatever reason you, you just need to go and set the output to TTS one and you do need to add the channel with the TTS one uh, you can access it by clicking the MIDI icon or the output and remember with any virtual output um, this is your overall gain for so this is how you control it also the shortcut for the inspector is I you get your pro channel your track information and also I want to show you something else make sure um, that you select all from this region here because if you don't by default it comes up with uh, without the patch and the bank section so you want to choose all so you see everything and here's where you access the TTS one you just want to make sure the audio portion that's connected to your internal synth you want to make sure that the output is going to your main output I hope this helps